So this is the next product in the Sapphire range, which is called Sapphire Ali. Uh, the point of the Sapphire Ali is to come out with a new product that is more affordable, so of course less money, and more inputs simultaneously. So the Sapphire Ali is also a FireWire 4, 400 FireWire interface. Uh, you can run 24-bit up to 96K instead of 192. Uh, you have six inputs simultaneously instead of four, and you have eight outputs on the back instead of ten. Now the inputs are two preamps and two line inputs and spit if left and right at the same time, or you can have four line inputs and spit if left and right at the same time. The outputs are six analog TRS outputs and spit if left and right. Uh, you still have MIDI in and out, and you have two FireWire ports. Uh, you do not have the dim switch and the mute button on the Sapphire LE, uh, which you do on the regular Sapphire. So just to look on the front panel, see what it looks like. Uh, very similar on the input section uh, compared to the sa regular Sapphire. You have a line mode switch between line and instrument, which changes the impedance as well as the gain. You have a gain knob next to it, and instead of the three-color LED, you only have the overload, so you know if you are peaking. Same goes with input two. Below that, that's how you monitor your input three and four, where the inputs are on the back side. You have a monitor knob that you can assign to the software GUI that comes with the Sapphire. And then you have one headphone output on the front instead of two and the level control for that right next to it. These are your line inputs one and two, which shares the same input as the preamps one and two on just below. You have 48 volt, volt phantom power, which turns on the phantom power for both preamps on the bottom. Just to take a look at the back side of the Sapphire LE. Now the first two quarter inch inputs um, on the top, these are three and four, and those can be run simultaneously as either the line inputs or the preamps on the front panel. These are your six analog TRS outputs. That's your power output. You have SPDIF in and out, MIDI in and out, and two FireWire ports so you can connect your uh, external uh, device into the Sapphire, for example, a hard drive or something like that. Now the Sapphire LE also comes with a software GUI, but it's less intricate because the Sapphire LE does not have the same DSP effects like the regular Sapphire does, but it does come loaded with the same plugins as AudioUnit and VST. If you take a look at the computer screen, now the Sapphire control for the Sapphire LE looks slightly different. It's black to match the black faceplate instead of white. Um, the section right here is to monitor your output for one and two, and below that it's for three and four, so pretty straightforward. And this is your inputs instead for one and two, and that's your inputs for three and four. And uh, you also have a fader that goes from input mix to playback. Very straightforward. You can also save your session like you can on the regular Sapphire. So if you're working with several different bands, you can name the band, save it, and then load it up whenever that band is back. Um, sound card mo mode switches the fader from in for to playback, so you can just monitor playback. And track mode was set it in the center. You can also float the Sapphire Control LE, so it will stay on top of your sequencer host. So when you start uh, clicking in between, it will not appear behind the sequencer. Uh, shrink it if you want it to just be a little bit smaller uh, so it doesn't take up that much space. Uh, and then disappeared here, so let me get it open again. <laughs> there you are. You expand it there. Um, you also can set the sample rate right here. Instead of, for, instead of opening up a sample rate box, you just click right here and it will switch right away. 
that's pretty much the Sapphire Control LE. Now, just wanted to show you what the AU plugins look like and the VST. So these are now inserted into Logic. Take a look here. So all of these are inserted into Logic, and Logic, of course, uses AU plugins. So they will look pretty much exactly the same as the DSP plugins looks in Sapphire, regular Sapphire control. And they work pretty much exactly the same. You have the simple mode, and then you can switch easily to advanced mode. And uh, that's pretty much everything about the Sapphire LE. Sapphire LE comes bundled with Ableton Lite, Guru, BFD, and it comes with a sample loop CD. Um, so again, the Sapphire Lee is great for someone that's just starting out and uh, wants several different inputs um, to, and spend less money than the regular Sapphire, and you still have some software to start out with. Uh, but if you are a prof professional engineer and you want to have a good interface on the road, the Sapphire Lee is great for that.